in his customary nature of rendering succor to his people and to improve the welfare of women in his environment, the Executive Chairman of Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission, Desopadek, Honorable Chief Barrister John Obugoko Nani, the Awomutwewi of Ijere Kingdom, has doled out cash empowerment to farmers in Ijere Kingdom and Mosoga Kingdom, both in Ethiopia's local government area of Delta State, to kickstart his farmers' empowerment scheme across Delta Central Senatorial District. The move is to see to it that farmers are not stranded in the ongoing economic downturn across the country as Nani, famous for his philanthropic works, has started the outreach to local farmers to help cushion the ash economy that has seen many quit farming due to lack of money to farm. The event kick-started at Onyobru sub-clan in Nigeria Kingdom with former councillor in Ethiopia's local government, Honorable Blessing Akamogbe, overseeing proceedings. Organizing Onyobru farmers was Chief Dr. Austin Atiti Uhed Nani for always remembering his people whenever the opportunity to help arises. Um, Dr. Atiti Augustine Ogono of PhD. And what it has done today is something that we've never seen in this entire Igere uh, Kingdom. For someone to sit down and think about the, the poor women farmers in the entire kingdom and decide to say it's going to give them some money in assisting them in their farm, farming activities. It goes a long way to show the kind of person he is. And indeed, you can see the joy and smiles in the face of those beneficiaries from only Onyobu inland. As you are aware, is also doing this program in both Boboroku, the other Onyobu here, and even in Jerry Central, and even in his church, the Anglican Church, he also extended this kind gesture to them. So what we want to say is that we want to thank John Nani. I will continue to thank him for the love he has for his people, for the love he has for for Delta State. Because what John Nani is doing here is not only doing it in only Igeri Kingdom, all over the uh, all over the data center and even in the entire data state is a man that has a good heart and is very generous generous to a fault in fact if you ask me that i should classify the person of general i would say Jonani is the is the other mko basharu abiola that we have in nigeria from Onyobro, Akamabwe made his way to Oboroku sub clan. Also in Ijere Kingdom, where hundreds of farmers were given the cash empowerment before moving to Ijere Central sub clan in Jesse Town at St. Peter's Anglican Church, Jesse, to distribute to women from Ijere Central and Mosoga Kingdom. We shall leave you with the reactions from the farmers as they sang in appreciation to Nani, saluting his magnanimity for the empowerment. <laughs>
Appreciate it, Jonani, for SEO Lukavale. Right from 2012, have been a member and a daughter of Jonani. I want to appreciate him that God will bless him. I want to say that 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 I we give thanks to you in our easy. And I was on another level of our Kawa. After the Tana Kawa, oh, you will tell you. But you will tell you, Kawa. Yay. Avale, I get it. Ava, Pewe, Ava, Jiwe. What's up, Kalo Yavale? What we go to Avale, Davale? On our own, no, and then all blue Bawa Kawa. As I was on a rock and never walk away. What's up, Kalo Yavale? The yellow way, what could I say? Speaking to Raru TV coordinator Honorable Akamube revealed more on the scope of the outreach and why Chief John Nani will not relent in extending a helping hand to his people. My name is Honorable Blessing Akamube. This is not the first time he is doing this. It has been a continuous uh, program. Uh, and this one is unique because it cut across uh, the length and breadth of uh, data central and uh, we are just kick starting from Ijeri, uh, it's a uh, motherland and uh, as you can see we've gone around all the villages uh, giving out this uh, farmers empowerment scheme. Uh, it's an avenue where it gives money to women in the Ijeri kingdom and even in Mosoga. For them to farm because there is hunger in the land and it did me feel that let me encourage the women so that they can go into farming once they have their own farms i believe by this time next year there will be surplus of food so what he's doing right now is just to complement what he has started some time ago we through through our, our forum i went to a political forum we were able to buy some uh, besides spraying machines and we spread along among the women and uh, we've also given out cash in the past even bicycles to our farmers in the past and this year's own is continuation of the farmers empowerment scheme after a year we believe we'll be going around the data center we've covered most of that today here in jc and uh, all the villages Ogara, Sapele, Etop is and the rest we follow. So it's, it is out of his magnanimity because he's a man of the people, he's a grassroots man, and he believes that empowering the women will make harvest in the next coming year a bumper one. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos, and this is Railroad TV. Thank you for watching.